So, Frida, General, welcome. Thank you very much for being here. Can I start just by asking you what you thought of the IFC this year and how it might you might help you clarify some of the challenges for your Air Force? At first, it's, it's my honor to be here because I think that is a very important uh, conference, not only for me, but also for other participants because we are able to share our experience, our knowledge, and we are able to see what exactly the company is prepare for us for the for the future and of, of course meeting people a critical part of the conference a critical team has been <coughs> promoting interoperability particularly for new platforms as a representative and officer of the Czech Air Force do you have a particular thought on the future of interoperability and how it might be improved for Air Forces I think that we already have some uh, interoperability in our Air Force because uh, we participate in many NATO exercises without any problem and in the future we want to equip our aircraft with Link 16 which will be other step for interoperability with the other NATO countries and I think that so far we are doing quite well and also, we participate in other NATO missions like the Baltic Air Policing and Iceland Air Policing. And for the reason, I think that we are doing quite well. And I think also important to meet here the people from the other countries. And I met here one, my schoolmate from the Air War College from the US, and it was a German guy. And also, I met my former boss from the Rammstein headquarters. It's, it's very nice to see them after, after a while. So a, a good opportunity for a reunion, which is good. Now, of course, today a lot of the discussion has been about fifth generation capability and linked to that a much more networked and multi-domain operating environment. How does the Czech Air Force view the challenge of operating in a domain which is much more multi? Yeah. For us, I think uh, it should be quite a challenge because uh, we don't think about the five generation fighter so far and because we have the contract for the Gripen for additional 10 years and I think that in uh, maybe five, maximum seven years, we have to start to think uh, about uh, replacing our supersonic aircraft. But I am not able to say you if there is a fifth generation aircraft like the F-35 or any other supersonic aircraft. Of course, um, but in, in terms of um, your view on what future capabilities might look like, not for your Air Force, but in general terms, there have been other discussions this week about an increased presence for unmanned airborne platforms as well as manned ones. Do you have a view on, on how realistic a, an unmanned combat air system might be and how it might come to be useful in future years, maybe post-2025, 2030? Uh, no. It's already have some unmanned platform in, in the world and they are using in some operation and I think that is the future. I don't want to say that 100% of the RSS will be unmanned, but I think that the percentage of the unmanned to aerial vehicle will be in the maybe 10, 15 years, the higher than in that time.